This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. It doesn't mean very much. I mean, it, it, it is very, very troubling to me. This is a very profitable, very successful company uh, that clearly doesn't like unions. Um, and uh, they decided basically that uh, if they could find a place to produce the products for 14 or 15 dollars an hour, that's what they were going to do. If the union wasn't prepared to agree to it in Canada, they'd shift the production out. You know, the company has a, has a history uh, with respect to unionization, even in Canada. Uh, and I think it's really something that, that, that this government was asleep at the switch when, when this investment was made. It was sold from General Motors to another financial company and then from the financial company to Caterpillar. And that's the point. Well, Caterpillar gets a huge advantage. They get all the patents. They get all the intellectual property. They get all the know-how. They get all that that's, that's in London. And that all goes south. And that's... that's very, very tough for us. Can we get the reinvestment back? Or well, I mean, uh, there have been serious tax concessions, but I think what it shows is there are some tax concessions which you shouldn't be giving without assurances as to what your future investment plans are. And I think that's something that we really have to look at, as well as the government's been pr promising us for 18 months a review of, uh, of the Investment Act, and they have not yet produced that review.